If you're new to working with Studio One, it may not be immediately obvious how to add automation to your master bus or master channel in the instance that you may want to create a fade out for your final song. So typically we'll have multiple tracks here that you may want to add your fade out to, but just for this example, this video, I'm using one track and let's come down to the mix console. And here, if we were to right click on our master fader, we have the option to edit automation volume. And if I click once on that, we now have an automation track that's been added. And take note at the bottom here, we have auto off. But as soon as I were to, let's play this back. So let's say I wanna add the fade out here. I'll click once. And you notice that this changes to read because we've added an automation point. I'll then again click here towards the end of the track, click once to add another point, click hold and drag that down. And then now when we click in the ruler to begin playback, we'll notice that our master fader will read this automation. Now we could also move these automation points and one thing to be aware of is that they are going to snap to the quantized value that you have set here. So currently I have this set to 16th notes. So if I were to click hold and drag on this point, say I want it to fade out a bit sooner, notice that that is snapping to that 16th note value. If you prefer to have it snap to a different value, you can always click here and say choose eighth, and then we will snap to eighth notes. If you prefer to have a more precise movement or adjustment, turn off your snap by clicking here, or press N as in Nancy on your QWERTY keyboard, and now we can freely move this wherever we'd like. Hovering on the center, we can create a curve to determine how that fade is gonna function. Okay, so that is the first method that you can use. Let's control Z to undo all of this. And the next method that we could use is, let's click on the read and change this to off because this is gonna be the default state. Uh, and then let's move back in our track. And then now we'll click here and change this to latch. And in latch mode, we can click hold and ride our fader with the mouse. We can also, if I turn a knob on my MIDI controller, take note of the window here, or this one here, we can see that that populates with knob one. I'm using the Personas Atom. And if I were to click on the fader, we can see that the left window populates with volume. I can then click this window or this triangle to link the two. I could also right click and assign volume to knob one. You see that this arrow highlights, this assigns and deassigns that connection. So now I can control this with my external controller. And you can do the same with whatever controller you're using. I'll control click to take that back to zero dB. And now all we need to do is, I'm gonna press the space bar to play back. Now I'm just turning the knob on my atom. And let's press stop. And we can see that that automation has been recorded directly from our controller. And again, if we didn't make this assignment here, we could have just rode this fader with our mouse, but uh, it could be a lot easier and more fluid to do this with a fader in particular on your external controller. So this is the other method. And once you're happy with that fade out, you'll probably wanna change this to the read mode in, in this way the automation will be protected and won't be overwritten if you accidentally touch the knob or fader on your controller 
or use your mouse on the fader and that will then alter what you've already done. So let's close out the mix console and just another thing to be aware of is that I'm gonna press W or E on the QWERTY keyboard to zoom in. If we were to click here, then all of the automation points are gonna be highlighted and we can even click to adjust these if we'd like to do some do so for whatever reason. And another tool that we have available is the paint tool. So if we select this and if we click on the down arrow in the bottom right hand corner here, we can select the line tool. Then we can click hold and drag to create a very precise fade out as well. Okay, so these are just a couple of different ways that you can create fade outs on your master channel or your master bus within Studio One. I hope that this has been helpful and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.